Steve McGovern. And I'm Jen Rovner. We are Pixel Paco, we're web design, web development, and branding business. New businesses are popping up every day along with current businesses that either need a revamp on their website, a new website, and they all need a brand. So we help all our clients consolidate ideas and make sure they're really getting what they need out of their website. I think what really sets us apart, first off, is our brand. With a name like Pixel Paco, we have to be a little bit unique. Um, we've noticed a, quite a few digital agencies around here follow very similar trends. Everything's starting to look the same, so we, tr we try to make sure everything's pretty unique. We want to be fun, approachable, and I, I think we've done that through our brand, and making sure our website's definitely following a different structure than the rest of them, but still appropriate. My mom got me a computer at a pretty young age, uh -huh. and I was just, I, first I would play games on the computer, and then I got like online games, and then I, I started making websites for like, for the games, and I just got more and more into it. I started learning you know, heavier and heavier development. So in high school, uh, uh, I had websites that help people you know, stylize their, their, their MySpaces, things like that. I, I had a bunch of different company ideas. Me and my friend, you know, we'd always you know, mess around with what we can make, and I liked being in, in control of what I, I can be doing. So. There was a lot of artists in my family, so they got, they got me into drawing and painting early on. And said and I wanted to do something practical within that, so design was the way to go. Well, we had, we had planned on eventually, we thought later down the road we would start. We, we've been a good team for a while, so we thought we would eventually. But as soon as I graduated, we got a bunch of requests from people. We didn't even expect to get any of these requests, so it was a quick decision. But we made it, and it's definitely been for the best. The thing we like most is definitely being in full control of everything that happens. We choose what we work on, how we work on it, um, what we're doing for it, and what we get for it. So we can live our life exactly how we want. So. I like that we were able to you know, work on the road if we had to. We, we could be you know, anywhere, and, you know, anywhere we have internet. We could, we could be working. I think the biggest step we skipped was definitely creating a marketing strategy before we began. Um, every client we got was through word of mouth, our friends and family had contacted us, former classmates or teachers that helped, helped us out, so I think what we really need to learn is how to network and market ourselves outside of that, so that would be one of the first things that would have been on the to-do list. Our biggest surprise, I think, is that everyone else is still learning, too. We, it was definitely a little scary to start dealing with people after we haven't had our own business before, and we really didn't want to make a mistake. We were trying to make sure everything's perfect, but ev everyone's really still learning no matter how long they've been in business. <laughs> I've definitely had some comments like, you just got out of school and you're starting a business, but we're young, we don't have many responsibilities right now, we don't have many expenses. It's, it was definitely the right time to, and especially we saw in the foreseeable future a bunch of clients coming in, so it, it was worth it. <laughs>